I just finished this absolutely stunning vintage musical clock. So the clock is actually solid silver and then it's gold gilt and also decorated with true fired enamel. So it's glass. This is not paint. Further adorned, it is bejeweled everywhere. I can't imagine how much time went into crafting this piece. It's really over the top in every respect. Um, below the clock, that's also blue enamel. So I am not a, a, a gemologist, so I cannot guarantee what all of these various stones are, but clearly these are pearls. The, the dark red stones appear to be some sort of like a garnet. They could also be cut glass crystal. I just, I really don't know. And then this appears to be jade, some sort of, something like jadeite anyway. But again, I can't guarantee what the stones are, um, but it's very, very pretty. Look at the detail of all the enamel work, um, a lot of engraving. It's a very large clock as well. The clock keeps excellent time. It's also musical. So there is a small rouge musical movement fitted to the underside of this clock. The on-off lever is in the back. We're going to hear it play. Now just a word of note, metal is, is typically, if you're going to craft uh, a true music box, the, you use wood because it acts as a better soundboard. Uh, metal is typically not used, but in a musical clock, that's what you would have. So let's hear it play. I'm going to turn it on. It has very good volume. turn the music off as such. The clock keeps excellent time. It's just really a over-the-top piece that took an inordinate amount of time to craft. This would have all been made by hand. And when this is sitting in your room, it's going to catch people's eye. It uh, has, it's just, it's, uh, it catches the light. It has a lot of, I'll call it bling. Very fancy. Very cool. It's a wonderful clock. Take care.